Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a wh- it's, I've been away for a while, mainly because I just didn't want to continue playing my stupid Bubsy game. So I've decided to start a new Let's Play at the behest of my guests on Yoshi's Island. This is one of my favorite all-time games, especially in my youth. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, the paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar be- over a baby that fell from the sky. Wait, it seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between brothers tells uh, each of them where the other one is. Is that true? Can twins tell me that? The Yoshis decide to carry him to their destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. Welcome to Yoshis Island. One of the favorite things about this game is the Shy Guy animations. They look so harmless, although they are really not. Now, one thing I have never been able to accomplish in this game is get a complete 100%. Maybe, with you guys' support, I might be able to make that happen. So this is World 1-1, and it's one of my favorite stages, it's a basic tutorial stage if you want to go with that way. And throughout this, um, throughout this playthrough, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of tricks that probably you didn't know about if you don't have the game. Feel free to continue watching. If you do have the game, you're calling what you want to do. I know the ins and outs of most of the stages. Not all of them. But a good bit of them. Now here's a tip that you probably didn't know. You can turn Yoshi's eggs into different colors without actually having to pick them up. So you can actually lead a troop of six red eggs, which contain stars, and when your stars are all maxed out, coins. The, the uh, yellow ones contain coins when broken. Always contain coins. Red will have stars. Uh, when your star meter is full, it will have uh, coins instead. So here's a good way to do that. Just throw them straight up and catch them before they hit the ground. And there you go. You get a troop of six, or in this case four, because I missed timing on some, um, red eggs. Good to use when you don't have any special power-ups. Uh, in this game you do get power-ups. And uh, if you want to move an egg to the back of the row, you pick it up and then you put it back down. 
I'm not going to bother with these guys. Uh, the red eggs are good to have. When you, uh, let's see, red eggs are good to use when you need stars, and you're basically at the end of a stage. You find an enemy, whale on it with him, and you get your, you get your stars. So this will be especially useful until I can find some, uh, star bonus, uh, items. And that's basically the only item I really used in this game. The watermelons were great. I really like the regular watermelon. The ice and the fire melon were good. However, they just uh, were, I guess, three shots doesn't make it enough. And that sound means I got all the red coins. Once you collect all five, uh, all five flowers, you get a uh, one-up. So that makes it very important to find and grab them all. And when you hear a special tone with the uh, red coins, that means you've got all of them. Aw, no bonus this round. Now, if I fail to get 100% on the stage, I'll probably just do it off-screen and show you the result. The world, mu the world map music sounds kind of boring now, but it's going to get better. Stop. It, look, it looks like there's a little ground to grab on, but there's not. There's really not. Don't get pinned under those. You don't get crushed, but you get pushed off the screen. So essentially, you're sentenced to death anyway. Even if it was a crushing hazard. Stumps can often hide goodies. transformations. I heard there was going to be transformations in Yoshi's new island, and they're really coming out with, uh, this will be the third Yoshi game to date. Okay, can't go that way. This will be the third Yoshi, uh, island game, <coughs> with Yoshi's Island DS being the hardest Yoshi game to date. Uh, there hasn't been a Yoshi release since Yoshi's Island, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yoshi's Island DS, that is, if I'm not mistaken. And I am anxiously looking forward to the uh, new mechanics and fun stuff of, uh, Yoshi's New Island. Uh, or they have additional babies, like in DS, or is it just Baby Mario? And how does he keep getting kidnapped if he's already made it home at least two times? Uh, in the helicopter, there are a couple red coins hiding amongst the, uh, yellow ones. So it's going to take a little while to figure out where they are, because I haven't played this game in ages. And uh, the last time I played it was when I had my Game Boy. And uh, I think my sisters love this game as well as my mother. So they deleted my files. And so I have uh, was very close to getting 100%. And to my dismay, when I picked it up again, I found that all three files were being used and were not completed to the extent that I had completed them. Meaning I had Worlds 1 through 5... Uh, regular stages completed with uh, uh, trying to uh, complete special secret levels of uh, World 5. So that bummed me out a little bit. Uh, it was it was very it was very disappointing for myself that to find out that um, my uh, work had been uh, wasted. That's okay. Woo!
But that's okay, because I can just, you know, download and play on an emulator, which is what I'm doing here. And it's totally legal, because I totally own the game. So, ha-ha, and ha-ha. Don't forget the flower hiding under there. It might take a little while, but you have unlimited tries with the uh, transformations. And hitting enemies will just make Yoshi spin out. Doesn't really hurt him, it just eats up time. Now, in the uh, later in the stages in the game, uh, they will kill you. Like, they will put an enemy very close to the uh, bottom of the screen. And, um, whoa. Let's go over him. They will put an enemy close to the bottom of the screen, and if you manage to hit that enemy, you spin out and fall past the uh, ground barriers of the game, and you lose a life. Sad Yoshi. And that's level 2 complete. And no mini game. What up? All right. Before I take on level three, and there is a secret that you can uh, pull off, I believe. And I think what you need to do is you need to go up to the tabs. Hold down select and push L L B A R. Let me see here. L L B A R. No, nope, that's not it. Let's see. Let's see here. How do they do that? I think you need to highlight the. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to go to this the uh, options. Hold down select and push L L B A R. And basically, you get your choice of what mini games you get to play with the bandit. And uh, for funsies, I'm going to do the seed spit. If you bide enough time, uh, fire melons will appear, and they do double damage. And that's basically the minigames. You have access to all of them, and uh, you can play them as much as you want. And you actually get the rewards as if you uh, beat the stage with the uh, minigame item. So uh, I'm going to stop the recording here, and uh, next time we take on uh, level 1, 3, and 4. Uh, see you guys then.